Welcome to Q1 Way, io questo welcome to my channel, I'm Claudia. So if in the Yajima and videos you have learned some interesting techniques on how to increase branches on a bonsai, here we are at the Yajima Seihoen, which is uh, the bonsai garden and nursery, owned by his uh, elder brother Yajima Tadashi. He uh, will show us how he grows some of his um, Shohin bonsai, uh, whom he is specialized into, and uh, without using wires. Master uh, Yajima Tadashi now uh, will show us. Here we are and uh, he has um, a khaki, uh, a ripe khaki, and he shows us how uh, he takes out the seeds, how he grows uh, sinus persimmons uh, or khaki, uh, and uh, for example camellia uh, bonsai, from seeds and then he grows them without uh, wiring. He puts the seeds in a shallow uh, container, then they grow, they produce uh, um, the trunk and the leaves, but the um, trunk is going to uh, grow also inside uh, the um, soil. Here, uh, Master Yajima is taking out from its bin a um, khaki bonsai which has been growing uh, from the seed uh, for three years long. And uh, you see how it bent and uh, the darker side uh, of the trunk was uh, um, growing inside the soil. Then he takes out uh, those parts that he doesn't need and uh, he is going to trim uh, the roots. Now he is going also to cut out the part that he doesn't need uh, because he is uh, producing Shohin Bonsai, so the, the long branch you have seen, uh, he didn't want to use it. And uh, here uh, is uh, the Kaki uh, Bonsai ready to be uh, repotted. Here you see the um, Shohin Bonsai uh, and uh, I'm sorry for the quality of the images but uh, I was filming and listening to the master and uh, this one will be reported and uh, then the process go on you can take your fun uh, making your bonsai in this way, um, you will have, uh, never have uh, two plants uh, which are the same and uh, as you maybe could do uh, by wiring. Here Master Tajima uh, had shown us how to prepare uh, the soil and uh, you take a shallow uh, vase and uh, instead of a net you put uh, um, he put two uh, broken pieces of uh, another vase so that the water will drain uh, but the roots will not uh, get inside the small um, holes which are uh, in the net and um, here he proceeds to plant uh, camellia seeds. To have um, a small camellia bonsai 
the, the, at the beginning of uh, Camellia Bonsai it takes about um, two years and uh, here I will not trim uh, the footage uh, so that you can watch uh, how the seeds are disposed and uh, have an idea more or less of the spaces he leaves. Now we moved uh, to another room where he is going uh, to cover the seeds with other soil and um, this soil is uh, called I asked the name of this uh, soil and he said that is, um, it's Akadama. I'm sorry, uh, regarding the soil, uh, I don't know anything, uh, so uh, I will try to improve my knowledge in the future. And uh, here again, I let uh, you the, the video uh, without cuts, uh, so that also you can see a little bit of the um, nursery, which is quite big, and um, he's going to leave uh, these seeds to grow inside uh, the nursery. As you can watch, most, most of the uh, bonsai are already uh, set uh, apart because uh, in winter time not all the plants all the bonsai can stay uh, in the freezing weather here is showing us uh, some um, camellia and uh, conara oak or quercus serrata or pin oak after uh, one year that he planted the, the um, seeds. These ones are uh, sunny persimmons. This is the stage of the growth after one year he planted the, the seeds. We have the um, Camellia bonsai, uh, and he took one uh, from here uh, to show us uh, in the images before. There are various stages of um, growth. Here we have uh, some um, silk trees uh, or uh, Albizia julibrisin have more um, camellia uh, bonsai that is um, growing on seeds and he said that all these camellia uh, bonsai the ones we have been uh, seeing before and this one are um, two years old Shohin bonsai you are watching here are all ume bonsai but of different types so someone will bloom um, red uh, flowers, someone uh, white flowers and some others um, will have uh, a part of flowers uh, which will be red and a part of flowers which will be white. So this is uh, the um, Kaki uh, Shohin Bonsai uh, we have seen before and um, here uh, Master is uh, going to show you how he does the um, Camellia Bonsai and um, I asked him many questions while he was uh, showing me uh, the, the process and so I leave you again the, the images uh, without cuts.
as you see this is the same process as before and here I asked uh, Master Yajima uh, because this is something you are going to do uh, over and over uh, when you have let's say to stop or and he showed me uh, a show in bonsai and then the you see there is a cut and uh, two branches are um, are growing. He, he said that you decide while creating you, your bonsai and taking joy in it and giving the shape you want. Here um, it's again uh, another uh, Camellia bonsai and he showed me how uh, this is the trunk is uh, still young let's say he, he wanted to, to to grow it uh, as the shohin we have seen before so he got rid of all of the part he didn't need and then he said uh, if you want to do it again you will cut this um, branch which is going up and see how to arrange it then I asked him if uh, I wanted to grow uh, leaves and uh, to make uh, the flower bloom uh, what should I do and it he told me that uh, um, if you want a thicker uh, branch uh, at the beginning you should not have too many leaves and uh, not to make it bloom and, uh, and then uh, when the trunk will be uh, thicker you can, uh, you can do it the trunk of the tree is uh, too small because uh, you have uh, let's say made the plant flower blooming and have uh, lots of um, leaves uh, the it will it will not get uh, much more thicker and uh, it will be a bonsai with not too, too much value. When you cut uh, the roots in this way, you have also to make uh, smaller the leaves, uh, otherwise uh, you will damage the plant. So this is uh, the plant that is going to further grow and this time it has to be transferred from the plastic um, vase to this kind of uh, vase and uh, then I asked him uh, if uh, I want to transfer it in a um, in a small vase, in a shallow vase, uh, he said that you have always to trim the roots. Uh, in this case, he still wants to make the trunk thicker, so he, uh, the, the 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 plant needs um, soil to grow the roots and to strengthen the. Um, the trunk, uh, but then if you put in a small bonsai and you keep the, um, let's say the the roots uh, small, uh, it won't uh, grow it uh, uh, much much more. Do this when you have uh, um, decided how big you want uh, your um, bonsai. show is going to show me uh, how to transfer let's say this is my bonsai 
Shohin Bonsai and uh, he's going to take out the part uh, uh, which is in the um, soil and then uh, transfer uh, to a small um, vase and uh, he's going here uh, to, to clear out uh, the roots from the soil and cut them Now uh, we are going to see how uh, the Shohin bonsai will look like and here as it's too much, it's growing too much, he showed us here you see there are little branches so just a little bit over there he cuts the part which is not needed. Now Master Yajima is going to put the plant inside a, a small vase which has a hole in the bottom to drain the water where he applied a net. And uh, this bonsai uh, took four years to grow to this level from the seed. And if I'm not mistaken, this process uh, to take it out from the soil and uh, cut the um, roots, uh, it's done once a year. I wish to remind you that uh, this method without wire to uh, create um, Shohin Bonsai is uh, possible uh, only for some kind of some types of plants and between them there are uh, silk tree uh, camellia tree and um, uh, pin pin oak uh, conara oaks here is uh, he has put the, the plant inside some water and uh, I asked if I could buy that bonsai but um, he told me it was not possible because the roots are not uh, steady yet inside the ground and um, in uh, winter time the root doesn't uh, grow much uh, so he has to keep it uh, um, in the nursery for some time so i bought the the big one you have seen before 